everyone! In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use the Adventure Kit zone system to create a character that enters uh, ledges or ladders um, not automatically but when the user is pressing a, a key like F for example. Um, so the first thing we'll do is create a new character and in this case I'll use the sample character provided with the kit so all the heavy lifting um, regarding the NM blueprint and everything is already out of the way and we'll call this our manual character. Okay, and then the first thing we we'll need to do in the character is to click on the movement component and disable the functionality that makes it auto enter any zones. So we'll search for auto. Oh, I have to search this on a character. And uncheck auto automatically enter zones from hit and uh, from overlap so no zones will be entered. Now the next thing we need to do because the kit's functionality is now disabled we'll add a box component I mean you can add any shape but for this tutorial I'll use a box and this will be our overlap check um, to see if the character overlaps any other any zones to enter. Okay then we'll bind the begin overlap and end overlap of the box. So this will tell us if the character has overlapped anything. And the next thing we'll do is create a new variable and we'll call this potential zone because this will be um, the zone the character might enter or not, depending if on whether or not the uh, player hits our enter key. So we'll call, uh, call this potential zone and set it to adventure kit zone. Now, if the character overlaps anything, we'll check is this thing he overlaps the zone, so we'll cast to zone. And if so, we'll set it to our variable. And vice versa, if the character stops overlapping an actor, we'll check if this actor is the potential zone. And if so, we'll reset the value. So it's back to being none. Okay. Obviously now we need to tell the player if we have an overlap or not. So we'll add a text renderer and we'll place this above the head of the com of the character. Obviously you can use uh, UI or anything for the purpose of this tutorial this is enough. So we'll just center the text and kind of make it red because the a the lot of advan adventure kit stuff is white. So uh, we can better read it if it's red and turn it around so we can read it when the camera is behind the character. And obviously now we want to um, have a display text. So in the tick uh, method we'll get the text renderer and set the text. that it displays to something depending on whether or not our zone is actually uh, set or not. So we use a select here and then we check if the zone variable is valid. Make sure to use this function because then we have a boolean output. Plug it in here and now we can display different text depending on uh, whether or not the zone is set true or false and we'll make a text that is empty if we have no zone and we'll make a text that says well hit F to enter zone or something or press press F enter zone okay now obviously the character doesn't do anything yet except uh, for displaying the text but we can just demonstrate this. So if I go to a ladder, for example, oh wait, 
we have to still set our character first. So select the character and plug it into the world settings default pawn class. Now you can also create a custom game mode or something, but for the demonstration that's enough. So now if you go to the ladder, you see the text displays press F to enter zone. And if we leave it, um, it stops play displaying that. Now a little problem here is if um, you try this with ledges, it won't work. And this is because by default, um, ledges have the overlap event disabled for performance reasons, but we can enable that again by um, opening the ledge up. So I'm hitting Control B to go to the content browser, S hat and opening the ledge. And then you select the overlap and scroll down to where it says generate overlap events in the details and check that. And then compile and save. And now if we start the ledges will also react to the overlap events. Okay. Now we need to actually make the character enter the zone. And so we create a new event when the F key is pressed. Like that. And then we check if our potential zone is valid. Okay. And if that is the case, we'll call the function enter zone. And the zone to enter will be our potential zone. Now, um, since we entered the zone, we can reset the value to none, so the text will stop displaying. Compile and save. And now when we hit play, the text shows up, and when I press F, the characters enter the zone. The zone. And same with the ladder. And it should work on all other zones as well. Let's have a tight space here. Yep. Okay, and this is how you make a character that can enter zones manually. This is basically wrapping the thing that the kit does internal, but here you can um, kind of add more checks if the character can currently enter a zone or not. Um, or maybe you want to have different keys for different zones. But that's up to you. Um, so yeah, that's how it works, and thanks for watching.